Hello Rams, today we are talking about graduation requirements. We want you to remember that there are the three C's to graduate. Credits, courses, community service, and your senior project. Credits, you will need to complete 280 credits to graduate. Courses, you will need to complete specific courses. Community service, you will need to complete 60 hours and this can be accomplished one of two ways. You can take the community service class offered here at CASA, or you can complete your hours outside of school. The senior project is completed your senior year. At CASA, you must earn a minimum grade of a D or better to earn credits. If you score an F grade, you earn no credits. You must earn a C or better for A through G eligibility. A through G is required to apply to a four-year college right out of high school. So your goal is to earn a C or better in your courses to be on graduation and A through G track. You will take English all four years in high school. You must pass all four years to earn your 40 credits. You will take three and a half years of social science. This is world history, U.S. history, American government, economics, and five credits of a social science. Math. You must take two years of math. Passing Integrated Math 1 is the minimum requirement. Science. You will take two years of science to graduate, including one life science slash biology and one physical science like chemistry or physics. You must earn 10 credits of VAPA, Visual Performing Art, or a CTE course, or Rural Language. PE. You must pass two years of physical education and five credits of health to graduate. You also will take 130 credits of electives. These are any additional courses from any subject area, or it is 120 credits of subject area electives and your 10 community service credits if you take the course here at CASA. Failing any one of these courses will put you off track to graduate and you will have to repeat the course. Please work hard and pass the first time. Don't forget, C or better is your goal. You will be on grad track and A through G for college eligibility. Remember, you also have to complete your community service and a senior project. Community service requires you to perform 60 hours outside of school, or you can take the community service class offered at CASA. Everyone should have received a copy of their transcript. Please take a minute to look it over. Let's learn how to read your transcript. On the top left, you will notice your student information. Your parent or guardian's information is below that with an address. To the right, you will see your grade and your GPAs, your grade point averages. Grades reported on your transcript go by term, term one and term two of each school year. You will see your citizenship grade and your credits earned in the right column. At the bottom of each term, you will see your GPA for that term and your credit total per term. On the bottom left portion of your transcript, you will see your graduation requirement summary box. You will see all the required courses for graduation in the left column. The short column is what is still needed to graduate in that graduation area. The REQ stands for required. This is what is needed to graduate in that course area. And the CMP stands for completed in that area. The total is 280 credits that you will see at the bottom of the required column and your total earned to date. Seniors, if you notice you are short credits, that are not in your current schedule, please see your counselor as soon as possible.
Now that you have looked at your transcript, are you on track to graduate? If you failed required courses, you are off track. You are off track mathematically if you have less than the amount of credits mentioned on this slide. Please see your counselor with your questions and options to get back on track. This is done by repeating courses and attending summer school. Your counselor can help you make a plan. Seniors, if you are off track, see your counselor as soon as possible. Okay, Rams, we hope you understand a little bit more about graduation and your transcript. Please continue to have a successful finish to your school year.